Well, hello there, and thank you for joining me on another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padada RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Today, we're looking at a pretty cool coach. This is a 2017 Grand Design Imagine. It's a 2950 rear lounge model. It is a double slide, opposing slides down in the galley area, and it's pretty cool. They added a whole bunch of stuff, solar, an extra awning, a big old inverter, and we'll be able to check out all that. But we're gonna check out the uh, four corners, check out the apartments and then jump inside and see what that has to offer so like I said this coach does have two awnings you have your front awning up there and then this extra awning that they did add you're gonna laugh when you find the awning button location took me a while <laughs> but it is funny as you can see you do have ladder access here is that other slide this is a double axle trailer too all right so let's actually start at this front compartments look at the weight here 8995 loaded, 1815 um, cargo carrying capacity. So let's do some math. What is that, like 7,000 pounds dry? So you pass through compartment here. So you got some water inlets, power, cable hookups, a battery disconnect. And look at this. So they did add an inverter. It's a 3,000 watt inverter. And you will see why here in a second. Scissor jacks down below does have an exterior solar connection if you want to plug in another panel you probably won't have to generally comes a one battery added three <laughs> double propane tank power tongue jack does have a little led strips here on this front cap and then these little decals on the side they're almost like uh, they're, they're a rough finish they're almost like kind of like a rhino shield they, they give the coach a little bit different look i like it a lot and then the other side of that pass through storage you got a light in here and then there are some power hookups right there too exterior speakers up there right under the led strip for this awning no led strip on the second awning and i don't know let's see if i can see the tire code from here those are oh those are brand new tires those are 3621 right there phenomenal very nice. And then you have a couple imperfections on this coach. I'll show you. Let me show you right now. Now, now that I got this handle. It just got all chingered up, all messed up. Easy replacement. And you got a little, little mark here on the decal. No big deal. And then I think there was a small dent somewhere. And yeah, we'll see if we can find it. Now, there is a hitch. Put 3,500 pounds on that. Now, that being said, you gotta keep in mind that GVWR weight and what you got inside. There is an area for a backup camera, no camera up there right now. Let me show you the roof. All right, check this thing out. So you got one massive panel right there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Couple more panels up front. So three total panels. I'm not positive on the wattage. I know they're at least 100 watts, if not even more. So very nice. All right, continuing on here with that phone ring. Got the back of the fridge, ventilation for the microwave, back of the furnace. Now this is a 50 amp power service. Water heater, tank flush, portable water didn't show you but your dump station is right there so that's the exterior let's jump inside all right you got three steps that'll just fold back in magnetic door holder oh that four season protection and this shut that door is your first view inside the coast right when you walk into the galley you do have your bathroom just to the right bedroom right behind us let me step right in front of those two lounges and look forward. All right, so we're gonna start in the first slide, which is located from that corner all the way down to this corner right here. It does have a freestanding table and chairs, four chairs, and a Thomas Paine, looks like a brand new couch. Then of course, single style shades throughout this whole coach, no day and night, just your kind of, I guess nighttime, they let a little bit of ambient light in, but you can't see through them. 
We're selling this coach for $32,995. There are some of the specifications on it for you. Your exact floor plan right there. The top 10 features of a grand design. And then some of your more important, some of the mandatory packages, tank sizes, weights, all that fun stuff. All right. So that's your slide. Looks to be about three foot deep. Now in the rear, they did change a couple things too. So generally this is just the same laminate. That laminate's still down there. They did add a, another, a, a strip of carpet in here is really what they did. You can see it's a little bit different color than the original here in the slide. And you know, maybe they just didn't like their feet being on a cold floor. So generally back here, they had probably two different recliners or maybe even a couch. Let's actually, what's this floor plan say? It says overhead cap, 22 high to bed sofa is what's normally back here. Took that out, added two recliners. They kept the uh, side tables on both sides, but as you can see, you got that couple mounting brackets for that previous couch. There's some storage and some power down there and power and storage on the other side with the overhead storage too. That should be connected to all three of these. Nice big window in the rear, right in front of this kind of lounging area. <laughs> they added that, which is a heater. So maybe that one furnace wasn't good enough. They want a little bit more, but you could tell <laughs> somebody liked being warm because they were just sitting right there, probably reading a book, reading a candle, watching TV, who knows? All right, so your next slide, that corner all the way down to that corner right there. With the island, of course, this is inaccessible when the slide's in, mainly for your fridge, oven, and pantry and a lot of the drawers, but it does have a little fireplace down there, which will also put out heat. Alferion player has an area for a DVD player, and then some more storage up above, and some easy reading material. I love these floor plans because you do get a full pantry, and this guy fixed my big complaint with these pantries. They don't have a big enough lip right here, stuff falls out, so he added a couple extra pieces of wood to help hold and keep everything in place. Very nice. And then just over to the right, step back so you can see, you have your microwave with the hood, three burner gas stove top, little oven. No cover for the oven, less to make noise. Big old pots and pans drawer. And then just to the right, that Dometic refrigerator and freezer. This is a three-way fridge. And then you do have a little, it says, I'm pretty sure this is the pet. No, it's not. I gotta find that. They keep talking about on my little paper, the top 10 features, a pet tray. And I haven't been able to find it yet. Awkward with one hand. Nice farmhouse sink with a pull down. Then you got three drawers, all about that size. Some storage under there. That's the one they use the most. <laughs> and then three more drawers right there. So I know I mentioned that awning control button. So your main control panel is right there when you walk in, put your secondary awning control is located right there on the island. I'm telling you, it took me far too long to find that. Breaker box down below, a couple drawers right there. Good little area for some small kitchen appliances. Now this is a single AC unit. Now it does have a quick release. Have it dump out, nice and chilly. Or you can close that, have it be ducted. And honestly, for the size, it's cooled down here very quick. Right, so what are we at? So I got a set of 73, it's making its way down. It's gonna be 100 degrees here in Tucson today. So walking straight back, you do have your bedroom. And that is a queen bed, 60 by 80. You do have power hookups down below, a singular drawer, and then a wardrobe. And then of course, as usual, same concept, overhead storage, connects all the way across. Same concept in terms of closet and drawer on the other side, USB and power down below. 
and then a little bit of underbed storage there too. It's got a Jack and Jill style bathroom. So if we turn around in the bedroom, bam, we're in the bathroom. It's got a residential style shower. Absolutely massive. Don't ask me about the caulking down below in the pan. It's discolored. We'll redo that with some nice clear. Plenty of room in there for the skylight. We are a little bit taller. And then, there you go. Sitting on the toilet, plenty of room in front. And you got some linen closets, a false wall back here to get to some of those lippered slide controls. And then, one more storage and optional wardrobe. This door is a slider, it is magnetic. And look, that thing is censored. That's the walkthrough right there, guys. So let me, uh, as usual, let's put these slides in, get an idea how this thing looks while you're traveling. Be right back. All right, there's your slide controls. Here's your passenger side slide. I hope in the little window shade so you can see. Both slides are in. You, I, I said maybe there's some accessibility. I didn't know this was a three foot deep slide here for that dinette and couch. You do completely lose access into the main galley area. I guess you could watch TV from afar, but that's about it. Turning around though, look at that. Nothing changes in the bathroom or the bedroom. You can sit here and do a couple laps if you want. All right, let's check it out from the outside. So both sides will look a little bit different. I got both the awnings in and your slides. Now, if you have any questions on this unit, all my contact info will be in the description box down below, including a link to our website to see more info on this unit. I appreciate you guys viewing this video. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.